with Zillow. to another live stream. My name is Omnom and no, I'm not quitting YouTube just to get it out of the way. That's not what this is going to be about. I just wanted to give you guys some insight as to why I decided to not do the sleep stream tonight and a couple of thoughts that I've had over the last few weeks and um, you know, some time that I've spent talking to some good friends and, and other things and whatnot and who's what's and things stuff and what who how. 
So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. I am so sorry about tonight. I just bark, bark, bark. I'll get to there. But before I get started, I got to get the prerequisites out of the way. I'd like to thank all of you for being here and joining me again on a random Saturday stream. I know tonight is supposed to be Twitch. That is still happening. I promise. That's okay. I am feeling okay and a lot more relaxed now that I've decided to not do this sleep stream. So I'll get to that. But also a big thank you to all the Patreons that support this channel and help keep us going. Thank you to all of you that have supported us as well and just all of you being here in general. If uh, those of you that are walnuts or above on Patreon are listed down in the description below. And if you'd like to consider becoming a Patreon and supporting us more than you already do, eh, give it a shot if, or take a look. If not, you know, no, no harm, no foul at all. Just being here is enough. So, Bark. No, I haven't forgot to reset the curse count. The curse counter goes all month, and then for every curse that I make on stream, I will donate to a channel. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Trevor Project this week, the ALS Foundation. and uh, It's my way of, like, also self-regulating my, my curse. Uh, Jalen, uh, the Bark, I'll, I'll update it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, guys, so let's get started. Um, before we get really going here, I want to say a couple of things. Uh, my mic is cutting out sometimes. Bark, bark. Is, is that better? How's that? I hope that that should be better. I may have, uh, bark, bark. I may have set the, the gate too high is probably the problem. I hope that's better. I just moved it closer in. Um, so yeah, guys, so here's before we get started i want to say that my feelings on anything that i state right now um are in no way shape or form to take a stab at any other youtuber or, or you know because everybody's got their own way of doing things and i don't want my opinions on how i want to run my channel seem like i feel that somebody else is doing something wrong on their channel by uh by doing these types of things it's just these are my personal feelings, my personal opinions. I would never tell somebody how to run their YouTube channel or anything along that line. Um, so I want to get that out of the way. It, you know, it, everybody's got their thing. It's it's just how I personally feel at this point in time. Um, so let's start off by saying that I was supposed to do a sleep stream tonight. Now I have always, always hated sleep streams. I mean, I, I just never have enjoyed doing them. I have never enjoyed the thought behind them, the principle behind them, and kind of what it is, at least for my channel. Bark, bark, welcome. Oh, thank you for the follow, Cactus Bat. So uh, here is kind of where I'm going with this, is that sleep streams, uh, to me, are a way for a streamer to get... Uh, a sort of uh, income now because it's no surprise that most of us that are live streamers make our livelihood and pay our bills with the generosity that our watchers provide whether it's through tips donations on twitch subscriptions uh, you know bits things like that that's how that's how we make our living and and that's how we pay our bills so uh, but with that being said um, when it comes to us let me back up my approach to streaming, because I've been a live streamer since I pretty much joined the fandom. Oh, thank you for the sub, that random in in entomologist guy. Um, I've started live streaming on, uh, on Facebook, actually, when I joined the fandom, pretty much. Just doing, uh, you know, band-related stuff and whatnot. And it was just on Facebook and for fun. And that's still how I view this whole thing, is that I don't ever want to be in a situation to where I have to, uh, I guess, put my personal well-being or mental state at risk to try and get donations or tips or anything like that. And that's kind of how I feel when streamers do these big marathon streams, whether they're like 24-hour streams or 12-hour streams or whatever. And some people call it the grind. They're like, ooh, it's the grind. It's the dedication. It's this, that, and the other. But you know what? I don't, I don't do it for the grind. I do it because I like interacting with you guys. I like being here with you guys. I like talking with you guys. I do it because I want to interact with my friends and family and community and people here. And that's, that's the gist around it. And honestly, 
I've been on camera so much. Oh, thank you, Volcano. I've been on camera so much lately trying to make the transition to Twitch as well uh, that, like, when everybody wanted me to do... You know, I'm going to turn that off for just a sec, guys. Thank you so much for the subs, but I'm, I kind of want to focus, so I'm going to turn off the, uh, uh, the alert box and media share for now. Um, is that, you know, when people wanted me to do this sleep stream, I want to do it if that's something that you guys enjoy. But for me, it feels just not right. It's not why I'm here. It's not why I started streaming. I started streaming because I want to interact with you guys. And you know, when you guys send us tips or donations or things like that, I view it as if I'm interacting with you guys and I'm, I'm making you guys laugh and I'm making you guys giggle and you guys appreciate it and you want to send a tip or want to send a donation or you want to share something that you want us all to see as a community that are watching these videos or interacting or stuff like that, that's okay. And it means more than you guys can possibly imagine because, like I said, it is our livelihood. But what I feel like is that the furry culture for streamers and, you know, YouTubers and stuff is really... I mean, I was never really a content creator. I've always been a streamer. I never really made YouTube videos. I made a couple here and there because they were silly, but... A lot of these people, yeah, and I know you guys 100% do it out of love. I really do. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, and it, it means the world. But how I feel about it is that people have started doing sleep streams on like a weekly basis. And, you know, I, like I said, I'll never tell them how to run their own, their, their, their own YouTube channel. That's, that's not my right. That's not my job. That's not, that's not anything that I should do. But it feels like it's gotten to the point where a lot of these YouTubers and a lot of these content creators are switching away from making content and just going to the easy cash in on your following uh, sleep stream mentality things, you know? And I don't like that. I never want that to become what this channel is about. I live stream because I like being here. I live stream because I like talking to you guys. I don't live stream to try and cash in on people's generosity. And that's what it feels like the YouTuber in a lot of the streamer culture has moved into is that people are trying to do whatever they can to cash in on their following. You know, and I just don't like that. So to me, First off, I've had crazy anxiety over doing the sleep stream. I've, I've had nightmares the last three nights about waking up in my own bed in my bedroom and still being on camera and people staring at me. And that in its own right is anxiety and dude, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, but you know, in the same thing, when I'm doing a sleep stream, I'm not interacting with you guys. It, you know, that's not fun. And I know you guys may, you know, enjoy and get a kick out of it, and that's fine, you know, and, and I would never tell you that you're wrong for enjoying when people do a sleep stream. But I think the culture has shifted to where now sleep streams are becoming such a common thing to where they used to be just a fun thing to do to where everybody's doing it to try and cash in on their audience. And I just don't like that. No, Amaro, I'm a guy. Um, and, you know, I just, that, it's weird. It's weird to me. You know, I, I don't know. I can't do it. Sorry. I don't want to. You know, and here's, I was talking to a friend of mine who happens to be another, uh, you know, content creator that has noticed that the live streaming market has become so overly saturated because instead of people wanting to live stream because they like live streaming people are now switching away from making actual youtube content to only live streaming because it's an easy way for them to cash in on their audience and that feels gross to me if you want to live stream I think you should live stream because you like live streaming, not because it's an easy ca way to cash in on people. And I never want the culture of this channel to turn into that. And that's why tonight I'm, I'm just not gonna do the sleep stream. 
I'm gonna go do my normal Twitch stream, where we're gonna play some games, we're gonna joke, we're gonna sil we're gonna be together, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, and we're gonna do it together instead of, you know, at I guess somebody else's expense and at people feeling left out because they want to participate in the sleep stream, but maybe they don't have money, you know. And that's another thing I don't like about it is that it's people watching other people interact with the streamer who is only able to interact with the things that people send in by paying money. And I don't like that. You know, I like, I love when you guys send me things. Don't get me wrong. I think it's hilarious. But the fact that I'm able to interact with you guys, see other people's reactions to what you guys are sending, interact with them, it feels more like a community thing where we're all having fun. We're all interacting together. Not you guys are talking to each other while one person sends in a video and I'm laying on a bed not interacting with chat. That's not what it's about for me. So, you know, I, that's, that's really my big reasoning behind not wanting to do it. And I really, 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 really wish that, you know, the, the YouTube community and the streaming community hasn't turned, in such a, turned into such a competition. You know, it, it seems like, you know, back in the day, it was all who can make the best content, you know, on YouTube, who can get the most followers subscribers, you know, whatever. That's why I never really did the content creation thing because I never wanted to be about that. But nowadays it's all about like, there was a streamer, a very well-known YouTuber actually, the other day in the furry community that was sending his followers to other people's streams, asking them to end their stream early and raid their Twitch stream. And this person has, one of the highest grossing Patreons in the community and makes more money than 99% of the rest of us. And no, it's not Majira or Kiwi or any of those guys. I'm just, but yeah, you know, that, that's kind of like, to me, that's, that's just, why? Why would you do that? I don't understand. You know, we should be here supporting the crap out of each other. Not, not having, you know, competitions because nobody wants to make content anymore and everybody just wants to cash in on their audience by doing low effort live streams. You know, that's just weird to me. I, I, I don't understand it. You know, I, I, I don't think I will ever understand that mentality. But yeah, straight up happened. I watched it go down, you know. Um, but with that being said, that's why I chose, like I said, to cancel the live stream tonight for the sleep stream. I don't want this channel to ever get to the point where I am not live streaming because I want to interact with you guys and I want us to have fun together. And sleep streams don't allow us to have fun together as a whole community. And like I said, to reiterate a point earlier that I don't think I elaborated on, I do not like the fact that on a sleep stream, people who maybe aren't finan as financially well off as others can't contribute and interact with the streamer that they're there to watch. It's just, hey, can somebody send this for me maybe, and then somebody maybe will, or they feel left out, or they feel like they're not contributing to this live streamer because they don't have enough money to do so. And that's not what it's about like that. Oh, well, yeah, you know. Well, and it's not even about making content that I like. That's, that's honestly why I don't really make YouTube videos. Because what I like is sitting here talking with you guys and all of us having fun together. And that's why I live stream. I do it because I started off as a streamer. I didn't start off as a YouTuber. I started off as a live streamer because it's just fun to chill and have a good time. And I want to keep that mentality going on. Can I explain what a sleep stream is? Yes, so for those of you that aren't familiar with what a sleep stream is, a sleep stream is where somebody tries to fall asleep on camera, normally in their fursuit, and people donate videos and loud noise videos and things like that by sending in money and then sending a YouTube link with it through Streamlabs to keep them awake. And so it's trying to keep the live streamer from falling asleep by essentially torturing them with, with videos. 
but the only way to send a video is to donate to the channel. So do you see what I mean? It's like, hey, try and troll me, send me your money, and if you don't have money, sorry, you're left out of the stream. I can't stand that mentality. That's not why I'm here. Oh, well, thank you, Altera. And sorry, guys, yeah, I am, I am reading chat. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to keep up on. Yeah. Kids sleep through a tornado. Yeah, I can't. And like I said, the anxiety around being on camera so much is hard. But no, to answer the question, guys, I am absolutely not leaving YouTube. I am not leaving Twitch. I'm actually streaming. I, I love YouTube, Aaron, and I love you guys. But I am streaming more than I ever have, and it's because of you guys, and, and you guys have made it possible. You know, I'm doing... <sighs> I think I've been streaming on average eight to 10 hours a day between YouTube and Twitch. So I'll normally do my Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams on, uh, on YouTube. And then I do after every single one of those and on Tuesday and Thursday nights, I stream on Twitch and on Saturday nights, I normally stream on Twitch. So doing more streaming than possible. And it's, I'm still loving it. I'm still enjoying it. I just want to make sure that I am still doing it for the right reason and that you guys are still feeling as involved and as loved as humanly possible because I'm here for you, not the other way around. You know, you guys are what makes this community and you guys should have, you know, the number one say in, 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 in how this goes down. Because if you guys aren't having a good time, why am I here? Yeah, no, zombie, I'm not gonna do it. I refuse to cash in on my audience and I think that's what it is. And, you know, like I said, if people do sleep streams, that is no shame on them. I want you guys to know I am not anti other people doing sleep streams. I, I'm not. I think that, you know, sometimes in a pinch, it's a good way if somebody needs to pay their rent and people want them to do it. I think that's fine. And maybe that's what their community, you know, enjoys. But here on this channel, I want us always to be interacting together and I don't want it to be a one-sided thing ever. I never, ever want to take advantage of your guys' kindness. You know. Oh. No, and you know what, man, Fido, like I said, I love it when you guys torture me with terrible videos. Those are great. I think that is fun because I'm interacting with you as you're sending the video and the chat is able to see it and I'm able to read the chat's reaction and everybody in the stream is having fun. So when you guys torture me with the videos, it's fun. But if I'm laying on a couch or on a bed trying to sleep and I can't interact with you guys while you're doing it, much less normally see who sent it, that's not fun. And that's not what this channel is about. So I'm totally okay with that. And thank you guys, I'm reading the chat. You guys are so freaking sweet. Sorry Split, it's been a crazy week. I'll look, I promise. Yeah, and I, and I think you're right, Mika. It's more about me trying to figure out a good balance on what you guys enjoy, what keeps my mental health okay, and, and keeps you know, us going. Because like I, I don't remember who it was, but somebody said that YouTube burnout is a real thing. And I think it is a real thing for a lot of people, but I think that that's because they get into the mindset that they're pressured to... Uh, you know, constantly put out a certain type of content or, or things like that. And, and I view this channel not as something like that. It's just me coming on here and hanging out with you guys. And I, I think that that's why I'm not burnt out yet. You know, I'll be perfectly honest. There are days where I just don't want to be on camera, but I do it anyways because it's my job and consistency is important. And what, every time I get on camera and I just push through, I wind up having a great time. Oh, uh, don't worry about it, Fido. You have a great night tonight. I don't want anything tonight. Anyways, I, I've turned off media share. I turned off the alert box. I turned off everything because I just wanted to get this off my chest. Well, in Slip, I, I'm actually just doing it full time now. Between here and Twitch, I'm streaming about eight hours a day, if not more. So, yeah, absolutely. You guys know how I feel about this. I, I think that our, our little group here is a family, not necessarily you know, just a just a, a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel or even just a Discord. Uh, sure, Caitlin, if you want, but you don't have to. So yeah, guys, ah, oh, day, no, you're great. You guys are silly. 
so guys yeah that that's pretty much it i know that th there was a lot leading up to this for a very short explanation but that's that's the gist of it yeah it, it, yeah exactly kino and i i don't want people to ever feel pressured and and i love you guys too thank you sugar and gasoline you guys are awesome yeah, and I don't need a break. Guys, I'm not burnt out. I am absolutely not burnt out of streaming by any way, shape, or form. I am not burnt out of streaming. I am still having a great time being here. I am still having the time of my life interacting with you guys. I'm not burnt out of streaming. I just want to do it right, I guess, is the big thing. You know what I mean? I guess, does, does that make any sense? Oh no. Aw, uh, thanks, Baron. I consider you one of my best friends too, man. You're awesome. Yeah, that is absolutely true, Gemma. Being in front of uh you know, being in front of a camera for eight hours a day really wears on you. Having to constantly interact and watch everything you say and watch, you know, your your everything that comes out of your mouth. Uh, you know everything you do your hand motions it's oh it's so hard you know absolutely um you know yeah so i don't you're doing the right thing it's good knowing you'll never sell out in a way that other youtubers you know and i don't know that it's i would never accuse the other youtubers of selling out i don't know that that's what i'm trying to say because then it sounds like oh i'm taking some sort of moral high ground over other youtubers and that's not what I'm trying to imply. What I'm trying to say is that I think that a lot of people are doing it because um, it's the easier way out instead of, you know, instead of because they want to. Does that make sense? And like I said at the beginning of this, guys, I would never tell somebody that they're running their YouTube or that they're doing things the wrong way. I'm just doing it my way. Exactly, Noodle, yeah. And it's because I want to do this for the long run, you know? But guys, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, making the switch to Twitch, or not the switch, but also starting on Twitch, um, because I know it's just a matter of time, because YouTube is absolutely, absolutely trying to kill off its live streamers. I believe that wholeheartedly. I mean, it, it's just a matter of time before I get a copyright strike for something silly, and I'm going to be removed from my live streaming ability from YouTube. That's why I've started on Twitch. Um, but, you know, with that being said, it is a hard job. And I think that that's what's going to separate a lot of the people that are just live streaming because it's an easy cash grab for them instead of for the right reasons. Um, I think that's what's going to separate them after a while is that I'm on a schedule. I live stream six days a week, six days a week. And I try to be as consistent with that schedule as possible, but it's work. It's actual work. You have to get up. You have to force yourself to sit in front of a computer at a certain time, interact with people and, and put out content. And, and it's, it's a lot of work. Now, once you get going, it, the work kind of goes away and that's why I love it because now I'm just hanging out with you guys, but having to stick to a consistent schedule, that part of it is work because you have to force yourself to be there at that time not just when you know uh not just when you feel like it and and but in order to become successful in this industry you do need to have um a consistent schedule otherwise you're, you're just never going to make it um uh, you know absolutely and so yeah it takes a lot of dedication to do it you know you can't you can't just leave you know and one one big thing is that there's a lot of pressure around it because like for instance when i canceled this live stream today I got actually quite a few upset messages from people that I wasn't going to do it. And if I miss a live stream, like let's say I'm sick or something, my inbox gets flooded with people saying, hey, where, why aren't you on camera? It, you know, it, it does become, uh, you know, some sort of, I mean, it's a job. It absolutely is a job, you know, 100%. Um, Oshi, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I'm looking for. I'll, I'll, I'll check Discord after the stream, guys. I, I want to get this get this kind of excuse me out of the way. <laughs> I just I just like had a coffee break. That was gross. Um, 
yeah so it, it's it's tough you know absolutely um but you know I, I love it i do love it so yeah well you know i i don't think anybody has negative intentions you know it's just one of those things mika where how do i put it you know when you are on a consistent schedule and you're not there or you don't do what you're saying that you're gonna do people go hey i thought you said you were gonna do that and i you know i i totally understand uh i don't uh Kaelin, i don't know i don't, i have no idea uh yeah so guys i i'm i guess my biggest concerns to just summarize here are the fact that I feel like the furry YouTuber in Twitch stream community is, or maybe not even Twitch community because the Twitch community has mostly been streamers for the sake of streamers with a few exceptions. But I feel like a lot of the community is moving away from making content because they want to make content into live streaming um, just because it's the easy way to make a quick buck. And I think that's awful. You know, don't, I don't like that. You know, some people do it because it's out of desperation as well, because, you know, I, and I don't mean to imply that everybody has a negative approach to it because that's absolutely not true, I'm sure, at a certain level. Um, but, you know, a lot of people do it because it's the only way to keep up because other people are doing it, you know? Maybe there's some truth to that. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know, guys. I, 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 don't, I don't think I do anything any more special than anyone else. I think there's so many good streamers out there um, and so many great, great YouTubers and good people. And, uh, you know, I just hope that it kind of equalizes itself at some point. And like I said, I meant no offense to any other YouTubers by saying that. So I hope that didn't come across as callous. It's my fear, not that I'm accusing anybody of doing it, I guess. Yeah, so, um, guys, with that being said, um, I'm going to continue live streaming six days a week. That's not going to change. I'm on Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on YouTube. And then normally after the Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams on YouTube, I go right over to Twitch after eating some dinner and I start live streaming on Twitch. Um, so if you guys haven't already done so, please feel free to check out the Twitch. The Twitch link is in the description. Um, it's it's where we have a lot of the fun, you know, because YouTube definitely hunkers down on everything so bad that, like, you can't do anything without getting screamed at by YouTube nowadays. Um, and then on Tuesday, Thursday nights, so after 9 p.m. on Thursday nights and Saturdays, I'm always on Twitch for eight or nine hours. Um so yeah, guys, I, I love you. I'm really sorry for, you know, the, the little bit of a rant, but I want you guys to know where my mindset is on why I'm doing what I'm doing and I want to continue doing it. I want to continue being here for you guys and I want to continue to build a family. I don't want to turn this into another one of those YouTube channels where nobody feels like they belong. I want to feel like I have a home here with you guys and I want you guys to feel like you have a home here with all of us too. And I just don't think that doing, you know, certain types of streams are, are in line with that, with that. Yeah. Whew. All right. I got that out of the way. I just hope I didn't like alienate 90% of the YouTubers out there because that's not what I meant to do and not how I wanted to do it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'm going to take about a 30-minute break here, and then I will be back live on Twitch um, here in 30 minutes playing some games, hanging out with you guys. Um, so if you haven't already, head on over to the Twitch side of things, and uh, I'm going to get caught up on Discord here. And I don't know about that, guys. I don't think I'm a role model. I don't think I'm any better than any other YouTuber or any other streamer out there. I just have certain you know, ways that I want to do stuff. So bark, bark, bark. I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'll see you guys here in about 30 minutes. I'm going to head on over to the, the Twitch side of things, eat myself some dinner. If you're not already on uh, on the Twitch or the Discord, check it out and come have some fun and hang out with us. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. And uh, I will see you guys here in a little bit.